Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for May 13th of 2024 is titled AR3664 on a setting sun. So what do we see here? Well, here we see the sun as it sinks toward the horizon as it begins to set. And we can notice that it's changing color, that it's becoming a distinct yellow orange and even a little bit of reddish towards the bottom. Now, this occurs as the sun gets lower and lower in the atmosphere, because at those times its light is traveling through more atmosphere. And that means that it is the light from the sun is scattered. Now what is scattered are the shorter wavelengths of light, which are the blues and the greens that are part of the sun's light. And that makes the sun overall look much redder. So you'll note as the sun gets closer and closer to the horizon, if you ever watch a sunset, you will watch the sun get very, very red as all of the shorter wavelengths are being scattered out. Now here we're looking prominently toward the lower limb of the sun there and that is the sunspot group known as AR 3664. And that's been in the news recently because it has been very active. It's a very large sunspot group actually visible to the naked eye if you have the proper eye protection such as eclipse glasses to look at the sun. And it is very active, giving off lots of solar flares and coronal mass ejections. Now those have been seen here on Earth as very nice series of aurora that have been visible over the past few days. Now it's continuing and is rotating around as the sun rotates the sunspot moves and it's moving off the edge of the limb of the sun and will not be visible now for a couple of weeks. Now sometimes sunspots last long enough to reappear. The sun takes nearly a month to make one rotation. So as it disappears off the limb we could look for it to reappear again in a couple of weeks and see how it has changed over that time while it was on the other side of the sun. Now the intense activity of this sunspot group would be the coronal mass ejections. And yes, those can be quite dangerous if they strike Earth directly. The less directly they strike us, the less damaging they are. And the Earth has really a very small cross section for these to hit. So they have to be aimed almost directly at Earth in order to really cause severe damage. However, if they do, a very large burst of charged particles could cause a lot of disruption to things like like electronic equipment, especially satellites up in orbit that have not been fully hardened against that type of radiation. And if intense enough, even materials down here on Earth and our power grid. So anything electronic could be affected. And as we know, that's a lot of things that exist today are all could all be affected by a very massive burst. So that hasn't happened this time around. And we'll see what happens as this group makes its way around the far side of the sun. Will it reappear again in a couple of weeks or will it have faded out by that time with new sunspots appearing? So that was our picture of the day for May 13th of 2024. It was titled AR 3664 on a setting sun. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be what is 42 minus 5. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.